If you want to go stargazing, you need to know where to look. Joining me now is Laura Aikens from the University of Texas in Austin to discuss what we can see in our sky this month. So after the 21st, when we have a new moon, you'll be able to start seeing the crescent moon low in the west gradually grow day by day as it moves towards its first quarter at the end of the month. The fun thing about that is also we have a bunch of planets that are kind of over in that area of the sky right now. So you can watch the moon pair up with them as, as the kind of week goes on. First, it'll pass by Jupiter and it'll be really kind of hard to see. Jupiter's getting really low, close to the sun in the, in the west at sunset. You can maybe spot a very thin crescent moon in Jupiter. Um, they'll be near each other on the evening of Wednesday, the 22nd. Then the next evening or two, it'll actually be passing really close to Venus, which is the higher, brighter object you see in the west after sunset now. Anyone who was out looking um, for the past few weeks will have probably noticed there have been two bright objects low in the west after sunset set and they've gradually switched places <laughs> so for a while the upper one was Jupiter and the lower one was Venus and then they kind of switched where now Venus is the higher one and Jupiter is moving back close to the Sun so what Jupiter is going to do in the next week or two it's actually going to go behind the Sun from the Earth's point of view so we won't be able to see it in our skies at all so it'll be too close to the sun. But then gradually you'll start to see it emerge in the morning skies right before sunrise. The other main planet that we've been seeing in our evening skies lately is Mars, which is still kind of overhead right at sunset. There are other two other orange stars kind of near it because Mars itself in our sky looks kind of like a reddish orange star. So if you look up when you first go out in the sky, it's dark enough, you'll see kind of three orange objects up there. One of them is the star Betelgeuse, which is in the constellation Orion, probably one of the more familiar shapes to people. And the other one is um, the star Aldebaran. So the other big thing to look out for astronomical wise in March, of course, is the vernal equinox. And this year that's going to be on Monday, March 20th at 4.24 p.m. for us here in Central Texas in the U.S. Central Time Zone. Roughly speaking, there are some other little quirks of orbits and atmospheric um, refraction and stuff that play into this. But roughly speaking, day and night are of equal time, about 12 hours each. And the sun will rise due east and set due west. Sunrise will be 734, sunset will be 742. So not exactly 12 hours, but pretty close. 